Hi friends, this is Marilyn from tarotclarity.com and today's video falls under the category of and now for something completely different. Um, today's video is going to be you know, on the Philly tarot deck. Now sadly, I didn't support it when it came out as a Kickstarter. I was aware of it. I had my finger on the button to support it, but I didn't. Um, and probably because I was spending my money on historic decks. I tend to be very fussy about the decks I buy, but I regretted it because, you know, being essentially from Philadelphia, um, I figured at some point I would own this deck and I decided to buy it before it became, you know, an out of print, you know, collector's item. Um, my mother was born in the house she grew up in in South Philadelphia. She married my father. I was raised in a Philadelphia suburb. Um, I lived in Philadelphia as a young adult. When my first husband and I started having children, we also moved into the Philadelphia suburbs. I was living in Philadelphia all those years, but then when we had a child, we left. Um, but we, you know, I didn't get very far. I mean, I, I'm living in South Jersey, which is essentially a Philly, <laughs> a suburban Philadelphia as it gets, right? Um, so I have close ties to Philadelphia. Whenever I travel, um, people, you know, aren't sure of my accent, which I understand now after seeing the show Mare is considered a unique East Coast accent. You know, people know that I'm not from New York. I don't have a New York accent, but I have a distinct Philadelphia accent, especially when I say the words like water. <laughs> You know, there's some telltale words that only somebody from Philly would say. At any rate, I'm opening this deck for the first time. Ooh, gold. Um, the only thing better than gold gilding to me is silver. Um, I do like a gilded deck. Now, I probably should say that I'm not real up on... Um, modern, you know, popular culture of the day. I know some, not all. So hopefully some of these references are clear to me. Um, clearly we have the Phillies fanatic as the fool. Yes, I Kurt Vile as the magician. Oh, uh, Terry, Terry Gross from uh, W-H-Y-Y. Okay, yeah, there, see, the microphone. Okay, as the High Priestess. Betsy Ross, that's real easy. As the Empress. Benjamin Franklin as the Emperor, of course. Is that Quest Love? Uh, the Kiss um, by Auguste Renoir. We have the uh, Renoir Museum. <laughs> the Septa Buses. Okay, um, obviously that's, uh, what's his name? Sylvester Stallone Rocky at the foot of the Art Museum steps. I hope that's not the only reference to the beautiful Philadelphia Museum of Art. Um, that's an incredible Philadelphia institution. Beautiful, beautiful museum. I was a docent at the Philadelphia Museum also. You know, there's another Philly tie for me. Um, the Hermit, huh. Is that Isaiah Zagor? I don't know. Oh yeah, the mural, the art, the mural, the glass that looks like the glass art murals. Okay. Was that Boys to Men? Yeah, I guess so. It looks like that. Oh, this is the uh, 
the Eagles player, the, the football player, who, who when they won the, uh, uh, what is it called when you win for, for football? I forget. I, I, I'm not a real football fan, but I do remember this. And he was in the parade and he dressed up as a mummer. Uh, what's his name? Jason Kels. That's it. Jason Kels's Justice. Ah, the Liberty Bell is the hanged, the hanged man. I remember when the Liberty Bell hung in the tower, you know, at Independence Hall. In fact, I've seen the bell when it was inside the building when I was a little girl and we used to do field trips to Philly, you know, we were able, and now I'm glad, you know, I've been to see the Liberty Bell a few times when it was inside the tower and it's been out of the tower and across the street for probably two decades at least. But the Liberty Bell, Edgar Allan Poe, clearly, for death. He lived temporarily in the Philadelphia Temperance. Okay, Philly, 21, huh? Hmm. I should know that, but I don't. Is that Joel Embud? Hmm. Gritty, the devil. <laughs> now, we did have Tower Records at Upper Darby, but I wonder if that's the Comcast Tower. Oh, that's got to be Grace Kelly. Got to be. And I believe she wore that dress in rear window. She was a star. She was a Philly star, for sure. Okay, the Moon City Hall with William Penn. Oh, it's too sad if that's all. If that's all William Penn. I mean, gosh, Philadelphia is all about William Penn and It'd be a shame if that's the only reference to William Penn. But that is a nice image. Oh, the sun. Oh, Logan Circle. Logan Circle. That's what that is. That's got to be the penitentiary. penitentiary uh, Eastern State Penitentiary. That's what that is. And these, this must be the cast of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Danny DeVito being the giveaway. Okay, now, good time as any to look at the backs, which I forgot to do. So because I just saw the Ace of Wands as a clothespin, and I see the clothespin here, then the backs must be the four suits. So we have, it looks like a feather. some type of coin, the clothespin. <laughs> oh my God, and hoagies, Philadelphia hoagies. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So we have the clothespin, which was, of course, a sculpture, a sculptor, a sculpture in, uh, gosh, where was that? I forget where it was, but it was leading into the subway on a corner. I can't remember where it was. And I imagine that the pip cards are work, you know, common folk, Philly folk. So obviously it's based on the Rider Waite Smith tradition. So if you are fluent in Rider Waite Smith, you won't have any trouble. Huh, who is that page of wands? Hmm. I'm not sure. I 
Now I'm not real, well, real, well versed with popular culture, so I don't know. Ah. Hmm. Oh, that's got to be Mary Cassatt. David Lynch. David Lynch. So I wonder if this was Will Smith. Um, Will Smith has to be in here. It doesn't. It might be. I'm not sure. The Knight of Wands, maybe. Feathers, okay. Well, you know, pen and quill, Declaration of Independence. This is a reference to Independence Hall, so that makes sense. And the quill pen referencing swords for thought, and you know, that makes a lot of sense. The written word, thinking. The pen is mightier than the sword. This looks like Boathouse Row. Lots of canoeing on Boathouse Row, right? Um, this could be a police uh, station. Oh, that's got to be John Coltrane. Got to be. That kind of looks like Kevin Bacon. Well, he is from Philly. Oh, the flowers, that's got to be Billie Hol Holiday. I wonder if that's Billie Holiday. Well, she is a singer, right? Oh, that's Walt Whitman. Anybody from Philly knows that. <laughs> I believe he's actually buried in Jersey, though. Well, here's the bridge to Jersey. <laughs> Septa tokens. Okay, so the pentacles is a septa token. The uh, U of P track meet, the races. I guess that's what that's all a reference to this suit, are our runners. Oh, what's his name? At Reading Terminal. Ah, uh, what's his name? Um, Filbert, Filbert the Pig. That looks like Chuck Barris. I didn't know he was from Philly. The Gong Show. Okay. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. Is that Patty LaBelle? It kind of looks like Patty LaBelle. You know, she's definitely from Philly. Uh, no, this is Will Smith. This is Will Smith. So I don't know who the Knight of um, uh, the Clothespins was. I, th I think this is most certainly Will Smith. Yeah, that other guy didn't look like Will Smith. Oh, hoagies. Hoagies. For cups? Huh. Well, you know, cups is water. The earth element of water, water, right? So, hmm. I 
unless they mean generous and bountiful and so the suit of cups seems to be referencing the mummers yeah the mummers for sure hmm I don't know who the Page of Cups is. I'm sorry to say, Knight of Cups. I don't know. That kind of looks like Marion Anderson. I don't know. Oh, number nine. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. When they won the Super Bowl. That's the name of that competition. It's the Super Bowl. <laughs> so I'm not really, you know, a real sports person. So there we have it. And um, let me see. Let me see. Was it the page of ones that I didn't know who it was? Let's see. Does it tell us? Oh, King of Pentacles, Will Smith. Filbert to pay. Okay, so what was the, what, which one am I looking for? Oh, Frank Furness. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. Meek Mill. I didn't know any of these. I knew Mary Cassatt and I knew David Lynch, but I did not know Frank Furness or Meek Mill. I got those right. And I guess those are the main. Okay, so there we have the Philly tarot deck. Um, this was sh sh sent to me by the creator who lives in Collingswood, which I lived there for 20 years. <laughs> so there's another connection. Um, very interesting. So I'm happy to have it. And I hope you enjoyed this little run through. I'll probably do a, a few readings with this deck. Although I'm not, you know, although I am pretty much a TDM reader. I, I, I am fluent in Rider Wade Smith, so I can, I can give it a go. Until next time, friends. Stay well. Peace.